St. Lucia, good morning. Okay. Wake up. If you're still in your bed, listen, I'm going to wake you up right now because this morning is on. I'm your girl, Chayla Mendez, and today we are at the Bay Gardens Beach Resort, and I am here with the lovely Nicole Alexander. She's a marketing officer here because there's something very special going on, and it's all in support of our own local producers, manufacturers, artisans, you know, our creatives. So, Nicole, good morning. How are you today, hen? Good morning. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm feeling good and listen, I'm kind of jealous because I'm here working but then I'm seeing the sand and the water and I want to go in. Mm -hmm. But that's for another show. So tell us about um, what's happening right now. Well, today is our Big Gardens Marketplace. This is the second edition. This is an initiative because Big Gardens Resorts attended the ninth annual Taiwan Expo last year at Johnson Center. And we are extremely impressed with the products that our local artisans are making, our local entrepreneurs. So we came on board and we extended an invitation to them to not give them, to not only give them the opportunity to display their products and to make sales, but also to give our guests and our staff to, to let them know that we are able to produce these wonderful creations on property and it's available for sale. And it's just great that St. Lucians are stepping the game up and are able to produce these pieces and to make a business out of it. So it's an opportunity for them to sell and to make our guests have the also the opportunity to bring mementos and gifts back home to remember St. Lucia. I think that's a great way as well that they can get an authentic experience of, you know, first-hand St. Lucian products as well. Now, um, for Bay Gardens, how important is it as well to support our own local, because you all can boast that you are a local company too. Definitely. We are locally owned and managed, and it, it touches our hearts to be able to support to support locally to be to have them come and feel welcome on our properties mm -hmm. it's a great initiative and we at Bay Gardens are so happy to extend this invitation and will continue extending this invitation to them Perfect. now of course with the vendors that took part what was the response like from the entrepreneurs um, when you all reached out they were very ecstatic to come up any opportunity for them to get exposure is something that they really appreciated so we're very happy that they came on board and they love it and we love them, so they're family. Right, well, St. Lucia, again, is the marketplace and a great initiative. So hats off to Big Gardens for putting this through together. But we're going to give you a little sneak peek at some of the entrepreneurs and our artisans and vendors, our creatives, our own people who are here today. So enjoy. Can you tell us about the products that you have available? Because I see you have a brand of product here and a wide line. So if you can tell us the brand and, of course, what's available. Okay, what we have available, what you're seeing on display right now are hair products which comprises of hair butter, hair conditioner, hair moisturizer and we also do herbal hair oil which we do not have this product right now okay um, the hair oil it enhances the beauty of your hair now I see some beautiful pieces here so first of all just tell St. Lucia exactly what Christy Creations is all about well, um, Christy Creation is all about making bags. And it's really important because every woman loves a bag. And I love bags. And for some reason, I found myself every single day creating another bag. 365 days, a bag for each day. And it hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped. <laughs> so we're going to talk to Magdalena and we'll find out more about Rainforest Foods. How are you doing today? Okay, good. Thank you. Um, I'm with Rainforest Foods. There's six of us, six ladies. We form a little company, call it Rainforest Foods, and we do everything natural. One second, so Rainforest Foods is actually just six ladies who came to, honestly, because I've seen the granola in the supermarkets, and I would never assume that it's a cottage industry like this. I figured big, large factory, and wow, so just tell us more about how the idea for having Rainforest Foods came about then. Um, after Hurricane Thomas, we lose our farm, so six of us come together and form a little company with the help of a PISCO and Francis Jacques Development Committee, we build a little company. And you know, really what I like too, because for me, trying to transition as well and find healthy alternatives, you really don't know how to use it. So I like the fact that there's recipe suggestions on that too. So that's just something amazing. And um, St. Lucia, we're here, it's Rainforest Foods. Make sure you check them out. And of course, most importantly, support local.
Alicia, good morning. Wake up, get up. It's time to just feel alive today. I'm Chayla Mendes. You're watching this morning, so thanks for tuning in. And of course, we have our good friend here, Jackie Cherubin Weeks, and she is the Public Relations Officer for the Alliance Frances. And there's a lot of activities that are going to be happening later on today. So she's going to give us the inside detail on everything that's going to go down later on. How are you good today, Jackie? Good morning, St. Lucia. Good morning, Chayla. It's <laughs> nice being here. And it's a wonderful day today. Wonderful, beautiful day. So I'm looking forward, actually, we're very busy at Alliance Francaise, looking forward to an evening of a lot of activities happening. And starting at five o'clock, we have uh, certificates being given to persons in the tourism industry who have been studying French at Alliance Francaise. So the certificates will be given. And uh, after following that, we'll have a launch of the calendar of events for 2017 uh, for Alias. This is the first time that Alias is really rolling out a calendar of events for a whole year. And it's really a lot of cultural events. They'll be introducing their openings on Saturdays where they will have classes, but there are also cultural things happening in the afternoon, like French films, or they'll be in introducing different cultures from France. And so people will be able to go to Alias Francaise and be able to interact in French. And those who are already doing lessons will get that opportunity where they can come on a Saturday and sit down with other students and teachers and, and, and really talk in French. Because a lot of times, you know, we need to practice, right? right. <laughs> and um, so that that is going to happen. And then right after that, at 7.30, we have this wonderful, interesting play called Salome. Salome is actually an extract. What they're doing is an extract from the play which was written by Oscar Wilde mm -hmm. and it was written in French. Now, Travis Weeks and his father are well known in terms of a team that do theater. And this time what they've done is that they've taken an extract of Salome and they are the Travis's father who is, um, yeah, I call him Mr. Weeks, right? <laughs> He's such a nice man. And he has actually translated from the French into Creole, right? And then you have two actors from St. Lucia, two actors from French Guiana, who are actually going to do this play. And it's going to be so interesting because French and Creole will be spoken simultaneously. So you'd find that I would speak to you in French and you'd reply to me in Creole. So that's how the whole play is going to be. And um, so it's, it's very interesting, of course, directed by Travis Weeks. And um, this is part of the Nobel Laureate Festival calendar. And uh, this is the first time that Alliance Francaise is officially on the calendar of events for the Nobel Laureate Festival. And following that, we will have a panel discussion and the topic would be the linkages of French and Creole. And we have no other as our special guest but Dame Paulette Louise, who is going to be one of the panelists. And everybody knows how much she's into the culture. She also speaks fluent French mm -hmm. and Creole, so she's a perfect person. We also have Paul Tomel, who is a teacher at Saafalua, she's also a linguist, and Travis Weeks, of course. These two, the play and the panel discussion, is on the calendar for Nobel Laureate Festival this year, and Alliance Francaise is so happy to be part of it. Great, and you know, I think this is an, um, a really good addition to it because, first of all, from growing out of just a Nobel Laureate's week to a festival, yes, so we I have really a month long that. of activities. Yeah. And just again to add to that, because the, the cultural richness, we've, you know, casually we always say, you know, there are the similarities between Creole and actual French. French. And, you know, like, you know, loosely we'd say it's f Creole is broken down French. Yeah. That's what I would always hear when I'm growing up. Yeah. So it's nice that th I think the um, interaction as well with the play, you know, actually giving people that first hand experience, like it's right there side by side. Exactly. And it really is Creole is a language. And Creole is not only a language, but it's a culture. 
it's a way of life and um, so they will be dealing with just not only the language but the cultural aspect as well and um, I think that this is the first time that there's a discussion like this and we need to have more discussions like this uh, in, in St. Lucia because we have the Creole language as our second language mm -hmm. and right across us is Martinique and Guadeloupe and which are French territories and um, now the Martinique is uh, part of the OECS as well. So it's, it's a very interesting time and I think it's timely to have that sort of panel discussion. Perfect. Yes. Well, see, Lucia, so now you know exactly what's happening later today. And again, this all culminates, well, part of it is part of the Nobel Laureates Festival. So again, there's still so much to take in and experience. So make sure you go check out Alias Freses later on today. And I need to say it's free to the public. It is free. Um, so come from 7.30, it starts on the dot. It's all under the auspices of the Dame Paulette Louise. We're so happy to have her and that she's accepted this invitation and uh it's going to be 7 30 and it's for free please come especially the young people come and experience mm -hmm. what this is all about and learn a thing or two and enjoy the play exactly yeah. so now you can also be part of the festival so make sure you come out and enjoy yeah.